All right, uh, here's a little video for Wild Utah Edibles. Show you a little bit about what we got going out, uh, going on out here in Eagle Mountain, Utah, and uh, some wild edibles. Uh, um, yarrow there on the uh, that one right there uh, is a medicinal plant. Uh, you use the roots specifically when the plant flowers. Uh, it has a uh, little white and uh, sometimes pink clusters on it. Um, that one's uh, another edible I'm not going to talk about right now. But what I want to focus on for this video is what I've found as I've been cleaning out my potato beds here and uh, pulling weeds. And I've noticed that we have uh, some edibles coming up already, including one of my favorites, lamb's quarters, or goosefoot, or simply wild spinach. So all of these are examples of that plant. And uh, many of you might pull them out as weeds from your garden. Um, but they are, actually this plant is more nutritious than spinach. The spinach that you are buying from the store. So very valuable wild edible right there. Let's get a little closer look at what we've got there. These are young ones, just the beginning of May here. So fairly young. And that's what they look like. And then if we go right over here, we'll notice that there's a whole bunch of them growing here amongst other plants. Now, once you get to know these, the young plants uh, from young, you can identify them. For example, this one here is actually a sunflower. And I'm pulling sunflowers out of my garden here. But keep in mind that right there is edible and uh, nutritious and and even pretty tasty. Now they get much bigger and if you eat the greens even right now it's going to be kind of bitter. But uh, that root right there, it's just a sunflower sprout. Very good. This little tiny thing right there, I don't know how well you can see that. Let's, that is the wild spinach, as is this, as are these right there, all wild spinach. All of this stuff right here, wild spinach. Very, very good. Delicious stuff. Uh, do anything you do with spinach with that. Here's a little tiny one. You can see maybe what it looks like from the start. A little seedling. Again, compare it to a sunflower seedling. The sunflowers will have uh, these two uh, leaves here and uh, the petioles there that I believe that's what that is. Those might be actual leaves. So that's a sunflower. Here's your wild spinach. More wild spinach. Very delicious. Now I'm going to go over uh, here and and talk about some uh, other uh, wilds that are actually at the end of their season now. So at the end of the season, this is uh, a plant that that is done, um, pretty much done with its uh, effective blooming time. This is uh, blue mustard and it blooms, you can see that throughout the little hillside here, it blooms uh, even from the cold so during the um, uh, winter months uh, you'll have that blooming. A golf cart going by here and let that go by. So the blue mustard uh, is one that I really enjoy. It has a kind of a radish flavor. A radish is a mustard uh, plant actually. But the, uh, the blue mustard is, is a delicious plant. Great uh, raw in salads or on sandwiches uh, is where I use it a lot. Um, and also as a cooked uh, vegetable. Right here we have some clasping pepper weed. This is a, a delicious plant as well. Not one that I generally harvest a lot for it's uh, leaves. There's a nice size leaf right down there. But uh, it's one that uh, will create little seed pods. You can see them starting right there. Each one of those little things will have seeds in it and it's a great substitute for uh, pepper, for black pepper. There's a bunch of seed pods right there. So this is going to be a great little harvesting section for when I want to get some seasoning for the rest of my 
foods.